Okay, I'm packing up for a little overnight camping trip. I'm going to Mazda Raceway, Laguna Seca for the motorsports reunion or the historics as some people call it. I'm supposed to bring the coffee. Uh, I wanted to get a device that can make several cups of coffee on and something that it could travel easily. I used to recommend AeroPress for like a solid camping thing, but I actually think it kind of sucks. It doesn't suck. I actually like it a lot in real life, but I'm gonna make coffee for a few people and I don't want to carry any extra pieces. I don't want to carry any filters or anything. So AeroPress is out. So I got my French press. I got a couple of camp type mugs, chocolate, La Marzocco, one bag of the answer, the Akaya Lunar. I need hot water and this isn't a proper campground because it's on the racetrack. So we don't have a fire. I bought this car adapter that's got a 110 plug on it so I could use my Bonavita kettle, but I just tried it out and it doesn't have enough power to actually power the kettle. The kettle won't even click on. So I don't know if I'm going to have hot water. I'm going to bring everything anyway and see what we can do. Also, in case shit just gets really real, I got this little tiny tube of sudden coffee. It's a little instant specialty coffee that worst case scenario, only get one for myself. But I'm going to do my best to try to make y'all coffee at the campground. So I'm going to pack up my car and I'll see you tomorrow at Laguna Seca. So foggy. Feel making AeroPress already in the morning. Inverted. Look at how chunky that is. I miss for the French press. Like it's a 12 volt, you know, system. It's a good fresh battery. <laughs> Clean California title. It's gonna be for sale after the show. I'm just letting you know. It is insane up here. It's a great, great thing to look at. Got it, Uber. Meal two, we ordered whiskey and beers. This is how Monterey works, okay guys? Cheers. All right, we went to the auction. <laughs> Here's the auctioneer. Okay. Yeah. Fucking down. And you well, cannot hit your brakes. I'm no. teaching you now. This is from the fucking 70s, man. Oh, is that Neil snoring? Damn. <laughs> Neil's out of control, dude. I know. It's gonna be farting and snoring all night. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing's going. It's going. Always stir with spatula. Potential tech. Four minute timer. Back and forth, always back and forth. How much does this cost? 100 bucks, buy three of them. Got two French presses going, everyone's gonna have coffee. <laughs> Okay, just a few things. One, I wanted to make an awesome coffee brewing tutorial at the campsite, and I did, but I didn't turn my microphone on. So I have a bunch of footage with no audio. I use this shotgun mic on the good camera, and it's got a battery, so to try to save the battery, because I hate replacing that, I'll turn it on and off. And sometimes I forget to turn it on, which I did. Super big fail on my part, I'm sorry. Two, the jet boil changed the way I think about camping coffee. I had been pigeonholed into thinking about bringing traditional brewing things to the campground, French press, you know, pour over, AeroPress, things like that. And all of those things require an external heat source. You need to bring some kind of kettle to use for the water and you need to find a way to heat that up. The Jetboil integrates the insulated French press and it clicks on to its propane burner. So your heat source is built in. It's really light, it travels easy, and all you need to do is add hot water and coffee, it comes with its own little French press plunger thing. So I would seriously recommend looking into that if you do a lot of camping. I don't do a lot of camping, but I'm gonna buy one of these anyway. So just look for the Jetboil Java kit and it's badass. You're not gonna be like, oh, kettle by the fire, pour it over here, I got all this separate stuff. You click it together when you're done with it, it's awesome. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get the jet boil. Please get the jet boil. I'm gonna buy a few jet boils. Three, I use pre-ground coffee. Now I know someone's gonna write in about this. I had an overnight camping trip and I was gonna be making coffee for seven people, some of them drinking more than one cup of coffee. So to bring a hand grinder is just really out of the question. I did a whole other video about why I don't use hand grinders anymore. To me, the juice just isn't worth the squeeze. So if you're gonna be gone for a really short period of time and you have access to a good grinder, I ground this coffee on an EK43 at the shop that I work at and the coffee that it made was awesome. So so to me, life is always about this balancing act. Like how hardcore do you wanna be with your coffee? Do you wanna spend all this time hand cranking coffee for seven people? If everybody drinks two cups, that's 14 cups of coffee you're grinding. Those things take forever. I'm so not into it. Or do I wanna have really good coffee, which you can do with pre-ground coffee as long as it doesn't sit for too long and just enjoy the moment that you are in. And for me, it was all about enjoying the moment that I was in. I was camping, we were checking out the cars. I just wanted to have a good time and talk to my bros and have everyone have awesome coffee. And the coffee was awesome. Pre-ground coffee, sat for a couple days, no big deal. It was reasonably fresh when I ground it. Think about that before you're like, dude, you use pre-ground coffee, so not good at all. And you know, I don't suggest pre-grinding on the day-to-day. -day. We're not gonna do pre-ground in the shop or anything like that, but just something to think about that, you know, coffee geek to life balance. I'm about finding that balance and, and that gets me hyped. So anyways, great weekend with all the people. Met some new people, had an awesome time. I know this video didn't have a ton, of coffee content in it and there was a bunch of cars and kind of shenanigans. Hopefully you're down with that. I love seeing the kind of behind the scenes stories of what people do when they're not doing what their main thing is. So I love cars and this is great for me. So you let me know how you feel about it. Hope you enjoyed the video everyone. Really means a lot that you take the time to watch these. I really enjoy making them. So if you're into it, hit subscribe, hit a like. I'm stoked and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.